What's up everybody, Clay here back with another Red Tech. It's actually pretty easy to break down your camera choice into a few essential decisions. First, you're gonna wanna look at what type of body you want or your form factor. If you need an incredibly small camera that's perfect for lightweight applications, Komodo's gonna be the camera for you. If you need beefier boards, higher frame rates, and maybe you're an owner operator whose shooting conditions are constantly changing, the modularity of DSMC2 is really gonna get you going. And if you're an on-set junkie, you're the next big studio DP. You're used to working with a full camera team. You got an AC, a camera operator, a gaffer. Th then the Red Ranger is your on-set juggernaut. This is gonna have all the standard things that you expect to see. Komodo has a sensor that's specific to its body style, but Gemini, Helium, and Monstro are all available in our Red Ranger or DSMC2 bodies. All are positioned to empower you to achieve your vision all offering different features and different characteristics, all together solving for every imaging situation you can find yourself in. Gemini, the 5K S35 low light high speed beast. Komodo at 6K S35 offers global shutter perfectly paired with its small footprint. Helium gives you 8K at S35 and is ready for your lens set and the wonderful world of advertising. And Monstro's 8K VV rules over them all. Low light sensitivity, super sampling, large sensor look, you get it all and high speed at 6K S35. So we know how well they all work separately, but now let's talk about just how well they play together here on set. So each camera is shooting R3D format and they're tied together by IPP2 color signs. And that's great because each sensor and each camera is in a different position and through targeting red wide gamut RGB and log 3G10, we can make intercutting and color matching just a breeze. So here we have our Monstro 8K Ranger body on the slider. It's kitted out the same way you'd see on any Hollywood set and it's ready to rip. And that's matching perfectly with the Gemini right over here. And that thing's on my gimbal shooting high frame rate in low light mode to compensate for, you know, a somewhat challenging lighting condition in here. And finally, last and certainly not least, though the least weight, we got Komodo right over my shoulder over here. That guy's strapped in for a ride, and I'm pretty excited to see some shots that it's gonna pull off. So now that you kinda understand how everything plays together, hopefully that eases you along in your comfort of maybe choosing multiple cameras that you want from Red. I hope this made the image nice and clear for you. Don't forget to like, post, and subscribe, and keep creating.